did my thing there. It's because I'm just running through the guys, and as you can see, there's a, quite a party behind me. I timed that just right to not die, like I did the time before and the time before that. So Ray 2 is not looking too good. Uh, I don't want to show you me dying repeatedly on the way over here. That would probably be the most unexciting thing. So I like to get in those alcoves, and if the skeletons that are beating on you, do a few rolls just to get the invulnerability frame so they don't hit you. They will build up a bleed, and that would be bad. And I have time to enchant my weapon because, as you saw, I was running, and there's a lot of skeletons here. I actually like to backtrack a little on this boss just because it brings the skeletons back, and if they die and the necromancers do bring them back, they're further away, and sometimes they get a little wonky with their AI and don't really chase that hard. I like to hang out in the middle until the chariot comes. That was actually me dodging the chariot uh, spike, not being in the alcove. Um, because the skeletons will stay in the middle and it doesn't take long to get to one of the alcoves. There's another example of rolling through the spike. It's good too because the skeletons will never dodge it. So if the skeletons can dodge, well, they can not get hit if they're in the alcove. There's the necromancer. Let's, let's hang out with him. He's, he's, that was him resurrecting the skeletons we're trying to. There's only two necromancers in this fight, so burn them down. And then before you pull the lever, which will start the boss encounter for real, kill the rest of the skeletons or have the executioner kill the skeletons. Not that necromancers aren't there. There's nothing that res the skeletons. So if you want to just kind of like run around and not fight them and let the executioner take care of them, it's totally an option. I just I, I do a little of both, let him do some damage, pick them off. Like, that skeleton's crushed. Yeah, I got a soul. You know the skeletons are dead and won't be resurrected when you actually get their souls. Otherwise, the necromancers will AoE them up, which is super obnoxious. Super obnoxious. All right, there he goes again. This is the lever. This will put down the porculus. That will... Then he will still run into because he's just doing rounds. He's got his NASCAR thing going on. He's making a bunch of left turns. Uh, I don't know if this is just what he does all day, but I mean, undead life, hollow life. Maybe this is maybe this is what gets his rocks off. I don't know. We're gonna enchant our weapon. This guy's about to have a really bad time. Only takes 400 damage from running into a porculus, but I guess it kills the executioner. And now we just gotta deal with this horsey. For the most part, when the horse charges you, if you roll back, he won't hit you. Um, there's actually a really big window where you can roll. I think I fail once here anyways, despite me saying that. See, that was really early, and I was fine. In a battle like the Royal Rat Authority or something, if you roll that early, you're going to get crushed. I like to keep kind of close to this guy. He'll back off and do this charge move, or he'll do like this like dark snort, which he's doing now. Just run away from it. It's, you, don't, you don't have time for that. No one, You don't want to deal with that. Here comes another charge. This guy, yes, yeah, super early. I was so early on that, and it didn't matter. He takes a lot of damage. He doesn't actually have that many hit points. Um, that's another charge. See, I was really early, and I still almost dodged that. Uh, if you get to his sides, he'll do like these buck attacks, which uh, are fairly easy to dodge, but I think it's just easier the way I'm doing it. Dodge. See, we're getting close to the edge on both edge on both directions of the pit. There's the buck attack. Uh, so I just turn him around because I don't want to be put in a pit because that's the worst way to die. Not like this. All right, so stab him a little on his chest. Lots of damage, lots of damage. There's like over probably 700 damage there. Poke him. He doesn't have any weird phases. He doesn't change up his game plan. He does this. That snort thing right there is a really good time to heal if you need to. Or enchant your weapon or put on a buff or whatever you're doing. Again. Boom, boom. I think I go for it, yeah. Sit down, horsey. That's it. And then go... There's not a whole lot past this fight. I'm going to go collect the items. Uh, there's a bonfire and a covenant of blood.